Well, hey, PIs, welcome back. You're with Pewter City Gym, and today we're going to go ahead and play Harry Goodman Returns. Look at this guy. He, he, he can't spin like the characters in Sword and Shield, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, we are back in time. This is uh, at least a couple years ago. Oh, Eevee, I wonder if that uh, becomes a Sylveon later. There's the bamboo shop guy. So yeah, we are uh, we are investigating as Harry. Um, pretty crazy. That you know, it's like, where's my dad? Where's my dad? Well, uh, we are getting to play as him right now. It's pretty nuts. But uh, yeah, as you can tell by the sepia tones, this is back in time. So let's see what we can do as Harry. Um, first, I want to I want to talk to this Eevee. Oh, you can't. You should adopt this Eevee child. I'm so bored. Hey, kiddo, why the long face? I'm not allowed to play in the bamboo forest anymore. Because of the berserk Pokemon, right? Yeah, I used to go in there every day, but now it's suddenly too dangerous. I understand your frustration, but I think it's best to play this one safe. You can play somewhere else for the time being, right? Sure, but I don't just go in there to play. I help run errands, too. Is that right? Good for you. Plus, like, I was there first, not the Berserk Pokemon. The Bamboo Forest's always been my spot. I don't think that's how nature works, child. I see why you're upset, but... Hey, mister, if you ever see the Berserk Pokemon, tell him to stop, okay? <laughs> sure thing, kiddo. I'll let him know. Ah, uh, he's nice. Hello, lady with the Paris. I'm a big fan of the pizzeria in this neighborhood. I could eat there every day, no problem. That's like me in every pizzeria. I've heard that pizza's famous, but eating it every day seems like overkill. Trust me, you'll understand once you try it. Alright, I will. I'd love to hear what you think of the pizza. About Bamboo Borough. Is this your first time in Bamboo Borough? Yeah, it's a beautiful neighborhood. Isn't it? Between the fantastic air quality and the delicious food, life's pretty good here. About the berserk Pokemon. The other day I heard crackling noises and a deep roar come from the bamboo forest. It came out of nowhere and it totally freaked me out. All I could think about was making my poor, making sure my poor Paris was safe. Ah, that must have been scary. Were you hurt? No, I was okay. I heard later on that it was a berserk Pokemon making all that noise. The deep roar you mentioned is a helpful piece of information, but it's still difficult to guess what kind of Pokemon it was. About the bamboo forest. The bamboo forest is usually so quiet and serene, but we're not allowed to go in now. Yeah, I saw the warning sign about the berserk Pokemon. The folks at the pizzeria get a lot of their ingredients from the bamboo forest. At this rate, they're going to be in trouble. The bamboo forest plays an important role in the lives of the people here. Having it closed off must create some serious problems. Alright, so that's the child, that's the lady... I know that's the guy we're supposed to talk to next. Can't talk to him. Can't talk to her. Can't talk to the spicy curry lady. There's the pizzeria. We already... Oh, there's a little shroomish. Be careful, buddy. You'll wind up on a pizza. I don't remember this guy. Okay. Welcome. How about a souvenir to remember your trip? Okay. Sure, I'll take a look. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. I bet you do great business. I'm quite proud of my selection, yes. Though it might not make much difference soon. Why's that? Ah, the Berserk Pokemon, of course. I'm worried customers will stop coming here if the situation keeps getting worse. That's bad news for a business in the tourist area. I'm actually here to investigate the Berserk Pokemon. I'm a detective. A great detective. Oh, really? That's a relief. I'd love to help you out with your investigation. About Bamboo Burra. Bamboo Burra is a wonderful place. The people and Pokemon here are all terrifically kind. I wonder if the lush scenery and fresh air have anything to do with that. I'd love to come here one day just to sightsee. Hard to enjoy it properly while I'm working a case. Please do. Make sure to stop by here again, too. For sure. About the Berserk Pokemon. The Berserk Pokemon appeared in the Bamboo Forest rather recently. There were crackling noises coming from the bamboo forest, and then I heard a Pokemon go, ROAR! 
Right after that, some people came running out of the bamboo forest. They said they saw a shadow with red eyes going berserk deep in the forest. Huh, deep in the bamboo forest, huh? Do you think you could talk to these people? I believe they were all tourists, so I'm afraid they're long gone. Oh, I see. That's too bad. I really wish I could talk to more witnesses about this. About the bamboo forest. I was actually in the bamboo forest yesterday to access the storage area. Thankfully, I didn't encounter any berserk Pokemon, but a bunch of bamboo stalks were broken and the paths were ruined. <sighs> it was devastating. I can imagine that wasn't a pleasant sight. Still, I'm glad you were okay. By the way, did a souvenir sto uh, shop... <laughs> By the way, why did a souvenir shop clerk like you need to go into the forest? The master of the charcoal shop hurt his back three days ago, so I went in to get his supplies for him. Luckily, the storage area was undamaged. It was just the elevator that was broken. Oh, did the berserk Pokemon do that too? No, it happens quite often. The boss always fixes it. Ah, please don't tell the charcoal shop master about the broken elevator. If he finds out, he'll insist that he fix him, it himself despite his injured back. Okay. Interesting. Gotcha. My lips are sealed. Heh. <laughs> Sounds like that elevator is important to the master of the charcoal shop. All right. Okay. Thanks for your help. Leaving already, detective? Surely you need a few more souvenirs. Ha! <laughs> You're a good salesman, aren't you? I actually have just the thing for you. It's a hat. How about one for your kids? Oh, hey, a kid-sized detective hat. Good call. Great detective tip 13. Always make sure to look your very best. This would probably fit Sophia's head better than Tim's. Okay, I'll take it. As for Tim, I'll get him this water bottle. Thank you very much. I'll wrap these up for you. Thanks. I hope they like their gifts. All right, I better solve this case before Sophia go <laughs> grows out of his hat. Uh, that's adorable. That's probably where Detective Pikachu got his hat, too. Oh, welcome. Sorry, but we don't have much in stock right now. Ah, uh, an herbal remedy shop with no herbal remedies. So, just a shop, then? We're sold through most of our inventory. The owner left to get more ingredients, but he's still not back. Guess I caught you at a bad time. Eh, uh, not really. I'm just holding down the fort here, so I've got plenty of time to talk. In that case, could I ask you a few questions? Oh, is this your card? Let's see here. A detective. Wow, you don't meet one of those every day. Ask away, I guess I'll answer whatever I can. I'm pretty bored right now anyway, so this is perfect. Ask me whatever you want. If you're looking for herbal, herbal remedies, Bamboo Borrow's got you covered. Our medicine will give you immediate relief, guaranteed. If you're feeling unwell, we'll help you quell those bad feelings. Sounds interesting. What kind of medicine do you have? Oh, you know, all sorts. Couldn't tell you much about them, though. I'm just here to watch the shop. You sounded like you knew what you were talking about a second ago, but now I'm having second thoughts. About the Berserk Pokemon. Apparently there was a Pokemon going Berserk in the Bamboo Forest. It caused us all sorts of trouble. I wonder if it was just in a bad mood. Maybe I'll give it some herbal medicine if we run into each other. Love where your head's at, but that'd be pretty dangerous. Better steer clear. Yeah, herbal medicine make Pokemon less friendly, not more friendly. Still, I wonder if herbal medicine works on Pokemon too. Of course it does. Herbal medicine is amazing. It can bring relief to just about any ailment. I take some every day, which is why I'm always full of energy. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's one mystery solved. About the bamboo forest. There are all kinds of ingredients for herbal medicine in the bamboo forest. Plants, mushrooms, even shed Pokemon skin. The bamboo forest is closed off right now, though. Is that why the owner's away? Yeah, he had to go somewhere far off to find the ingredients he needs. Good guess. Sounds like a hassle. All right. So we talk to her. Anybody else? I think this area was empty. Yep. Okay. So I guess we'll just go to the uh, the bamboo charcoal guy. All the way back over here. Yep. There we are. Oh. Did you hurt your back? Ah, uh, customer. Sorry you have to see me like this. I promised the month's batch of bamboo charcoals in much better shape than my back is. Oh no, please, stay where you are. I'm, uh, well, take a look at this. Eh, uh, detective, eh? Not just a detective. 
sorry, sorry, force of habit. Yeah, I'm here to investigate the Berserk Pokemon. I'd like to take a look around the Bamboo Forest if you don't mind. I, I won't cause any trouble. The gate to the Bamboo Forest is locked. We can't have any Berserk Pokemon into this area. The gate's staying closed for public safety, you hear? I don't care if you want to investigate. I ain't budget on this. Uh, all right. Uh, can I at least ask you a few questions then? Look, uh, look at you with all your detective notebook and everything. What do you want to know? About Bamboo Burrow. I heard this area is famous for its bamboo forest and bamboo charcoal. And pizza. Yep, right you are. Bamboo charcoal has got antibacterial and deodorizing properties and it can improve the quality of water and soil too. Wonderful product, really. Just put it in a room, and it makes everything better. <laughs> no wonder it's famous. You have my loyal customers to thank for that, if only I could make more. Do you make the charcoal all by yourself? Pretty much. I reckon I could start looking for an apprentice. Say, you wouldn't happen to know any promising young, young upstarts who might be interested. Well, I have a son and a daughter, and they seem promising to me. I'm not too sure they're interested in a career in making charcoal, though. Yep, best to let your children choose their own paths in life. Thanks all the same. I'm sure I'll find an apprentice yet. About the Berserk Pokemon? Yeah, the Berserk Pokemon. Reckon it showed up uh, about a week ago. Never seen it myself, but I've heard it making noise and causing all kinds of ruckus. Three days ago, I went into the charcoal kill and found erected up something fierce. Okay. To so the elevator in the charcoal kiln. That berserk Pokemon might have done it. Interesting. Was there any, anything else unusual about the area? No, just the wrecked kiln. Nothing seemed to be stolen. Try to clean it up, and that's when I hurt my back. I haven't been back to the bamboo forest since. That's probably for the best. You should take it easy and leave the clean-up to the other folks here. Once my back's straightened out, I'm getting back to work like you wouldn't believe. I'll be making trips to the bamboo forest too, of course. I ain't letting some berserk Pokemon scare me out of running my bamboo charcoal shop. Heh, <laughs> I like your spirit. Sounds like I should pay that Rick charcoal killer a visit. About the bamboo forest. So about that gate. I told you, I ain't opening it. Detective or otherwise, no one's allowed in. That's too dangerous. What if you run into the berserk Pokemon? I ain't opening the gate, and I ain't giving you the key neither. Oh, <laughs> my back. <laughs> all right, all right, I hear you. Okay. Hmm, what should I do? Oh, we're going to start deducing. I got to borrow the key to the gate in order to get into the bamboo forest. Problem is, the master of the charcoal shop's got that key, and he's a real stubborn piece of work. He's not just going to give it to me if I tell him I need it for my investigation. No, I need a reason to enter the bamboo forest that'll actually convince him to give me that key. I might need info, any kind really, something to the point me in the right direction. Maybe the people around here know something. Begin deducing. Let me think this through. Based on all the info I've gathered, how can I convince the master of the charcoal shop to give me the key? Tell him that I want to investigate the charcoal kiln. Berserk Pokemon might have wrecked the charcoal kiln. If I tell the master of the charcoal shop that I want to investigate that, he might lend me the key to the gate. Offer to repair the elevator. It sounds like maintaining the elevator to the storage area is very important to the master of the charcoal shop. If I offered to repair the elevator, he might leave me the key to the gate. Well, they said they, the, the guy would insist on um, fixing it himself. I think it's going to be this one. Nope. It's possible that the berserk Pokemon wrecked the charcoal kiln. Telling the charcoal shop master that I'm a detective didn't help. I doubt telling him I wanted to investigate the kiln would convince him to lend me the key either. Alright, so it's the other one. Let me think this through. Based on all the info I've gathered, how can I convince the master of the charcoal shop to lend me the key? Well, he, uh, we were told that he would want to do it himself, which is why I didn't pick this. Okay. Whenever the elevator's on the fritz, the old charcoal shop master will bend over backwards to fix it, which can't be good for that injured back of his. That's what the souvenir shop owner said, more or less. Which goes to show that the elevator is extremely important to him. 
Maybe if I tell the master of the charcoal shop that I'll fix the elevator, he'll agree to lend me the key. Okay, I'll go negotiate with him. All right. Beep it beep. Okay. All right, I gotta go see the master of the charcoal shop and convince him to let me borrow the key. I sure hope he's open to being convinced. Hey there, do you have a minute? Oh, it's you again. I'm still not handing over that key. I know. I'm actually here to talk about the elevator and the storage area. I heard it breaks down a lot. Sure does, and I'm always the one who's got to fix it. Wait, it ain't gone and broke itself again, has it? Keep me in the dark again, will they? Why, I oughta... Oh, my back. Easy there. They didn't tell you because they all want you to rest. Now, how do you usually fix it? Oh, I just give it a few whacks with some bamboo. It's like playing the drums. Seriously? No wonder the, ele <laughs> the elevator keeps breaking. Your back's never gonna heal if you keep that up. I'll go fix the elevator. An amateur like you wouldn't know the first thing about fixing elevators. Stay out of it. Hey, I might not seem like it, but I'm pretty good with machines. I can even fix my own car when it needs work. Is that right? Hmm. You sure you can fix it? I'll at least do better than hitting it with bamboo. What do you say? Hmm. Fine, take the key. I'd rather suffer my back than you right now, anyway. I figure you'll do some investigating while you're in the bamboo forest. You meet with any danger in there, you better run for it, you hear me? Sure thing, thanks. All right. Go to the bamboo forest. Whoop! This is about ran over the Paris. Hmm. Okay. Just gotta put the key in there and ah, the gate's surprisingly heavy. All right, it's open. Oh, broken fence. Wow, it does look beautiful there, though. Hmm. Huh, it's so quiet here. Not even the slightest sign of a Pokemon. All right, let's see what I can find. Oh, didn't expect to find something so soon. The path in the bamboo forest is in disarray. Investigate the area to find out what happened. I'll conduct a thorough investigation of the scene so I can figure out exactly what happened here. So... The Berserk Pokemon came all the way here, huh? That old Charcoal Master was right to lock the gate. Okay, let's see what I can find. Okay. These footprints paint a clear picture of what went down here. Gotta make sure not to miss anything. Hmm. Pokemon footprints, big ones and small ones. Okay. Judging by the depth of the big ones, the Pokemon that planted it must have been heavy. Looks like the bigger footprints keep going straight down this path. As for the smaller footprints, there are a lot of them, strangely enough. Looks like they round the corner up ahead and continue towards a side path. What's that? Yeah. I see scorches on the ground. A big one and a small one. Hmm. The nearby grass and bamboo don't look burned, though. Doesn't seem like there was a fire. Maybe the scorches were made by an electric type move. Okay, so the bamboo itself. Broken bamboo stalks. Looks like they all broke at once. Based on the coloration of the cross sections, this likely happened this morning. Hmm. Let's see, and then the broken fence. You'd need a lot of force to leave scratch marks that deep. Could they have been made by some kind of machine? No, maybe Pokemon's claw. Scratches on the bamboo fence. That's all there is to see here. Time to start deducing. Time to start deducing. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll start going over the information I've gathered and try to deduce what happened here. 
Bad weather calls. Lightning? No. Pokemon battled each other. I think this is it here. Based on the two scorch marks that may have been caused by electric type moves and the two sets of different sized poof prints, Pokemon might have battled each other here. I think that's pretty easily it. First, the different sized set of footprints tell me there was a big Pokemon and a small Pokemon. Judging by how these footprints were formed, the two definitely encountered each other here. Next, the scorches on the ground. Those were likely caused by a Pokemon using an electric type move. Based on the evidence, some Pokemon definitely got into a scrap with each other. With all that said, if I follow both sets of footprints, I should be able to find the Berserk Pokemon. Alright. I'll follow the footprints of those two Pokemon. I should be able to get some clarity on what went down here. I just hope it'll lead me to the Berserk Pokemon. Alright, and it might in the next episode. Hey, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. It's been kind of fun playing as uh, as old Harry Goodman here. Um, and we will continue on with that in the next one. But uh, again, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.